All right, guys, I'm doing a, a head rebuild on this BMW head. It's a, and this is from an N20 engine. And I wasn't going to shoot a video on it. I was just going to just do it and not bother like, sticking it on the YouTube or whatever. And then I thought, well, maybe somebody might need to know how to remove these intake springs. So this is going to be a quick video to show you how to pull these off. And you need, of course, a special tool from BMW to do it. That's the tool. I can't remember the part number. I'll look it up and I'll stick it in the video for you. But I'm just going to show you guys how to use this. This isn't like a normal intake um, camshaft removal. You, you got to use this thing and, and put all these springs in the correct position, all that other stuff before you take it apart. So this is just going to be a quick video on how to actually uh, remove these intake retaining springs here. I've already taken two of them out. Well, this one's loose, but this one's off and I got two more to do. So I'm just going to shoot a quick video on, on how to do it and how to use the tool basically. Uh, first thing you need to do is wind this guy all the way back out uh, and then open your tool up, right? Get ready to put on. And it's, you gotta kind of jiggle it in a little bit. Uh, this, this hole right here, this is where you're gonna remove the bolt that's holding the spring. This is your bolt right here. So you, get, you kinda gotta line that up, but there's two little feet underneath it that hook into the spring. So you gotta push those in and then you gotta close it enough where you can slide the two feet, these two feet back in here against this spring. Somebody's calling me. Uh, so once you get the once you get the two hooks under here that are sitting underneath this screw, once you get those lined up, and once you get your feet lined up, uh, you can go ahead and tighten this nut down, and then it'll pull these two little levers here against the spring. And I'll, I'll show you guys that. It, it can be a little tricky. Um, you just got to make sure you're all set up before you start. We start screwing anything down because you know you jam this up, you, know, you could do some damage, right? So we don't want to break anything. Okay, so we're just gonna screw this guy down. I don't know if you can see these two little feet are getting sucked in, right? Uh, and that's just gonna retain the spring for us. Okay, so we're on, we're tight. We're gonna make sure you're, that's the other thing I should tell you, make sure that your springs are in these little slots here because you don't want them snapping off, right? That'll make for a bad day. Uh, and then once you get everything lined up, you're going to squeeze this together. It's going to lock right here. So this little guy's going to come up and lock it. Just like that. So you're ready to remove your bolt. It's an e, E8. Go ahead and yank your bolt out of there. And then just real ginger, just let this go, right? So you got to squeeze it, hold the lever back. Let this spring come down. And this bottom piece is going to come down like this, and that's fine. You want that spring to be pointing straight up. Like that. Just the way it naturally wants to do it. And then once you get to this point, go ahead and uh, unscrew this guy. Now will release him from the top, and you get your, you get your spring out, right? All right, well, you, you, can, you can open the, band, or the springs and pull it out if you want. Uh, or you can just take the cam off and then pull all the springs and everything out. Either way is fine. Uh, I think it's easier just to pull the cam. Uh, but that's just a quick demo on, on how to use this tool. Uh, you, you definitely need this. You, you can't do this job without it. Unless you made some tool. But these springs are under a tremendous amount of tension. Um, I wouldn't, it's your intake cam. I wouldn't dick around with it and try and make something. Just go buy the tool. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and you know, rip this whole head apart, pull the valves out of it, you know, it's a complete rebuild. Um, I, I didn't record, or I'm not going to record it for the YouTube. I don't, I don't think it's going to be very interesting, but I thought that you guys would probably like to see that. You know, if you're ever taking a, an N20 or, or N, uh, there's, there's several engines this works for, I can't remember them all, uh, but you, you have to have that in order to remove the, these springs. Now you you pull the exhaust side off, no problem, right? If you're doing work in the exhaust side, you don't need this tool, right? But if, if you need to pull the intake side off, which, which I do in this case, um, you, you, have to, you have to have that. And there's a procedure. You have to um, put the, this uh, uh, auto timing gear all the way to its uh, horizontal position. Uh, you just use a little Allen key for that. I don't even know what it, here it is right here. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. If you see this guy moving, it's called an eccentric shaft or something. It's for the variable timing. Um, that has to be wound all the way straight up. 
uh, the cam lobes need to be facing down, uh, and then you, know, you can go ahead and do your work there and remove these, remove these springs. So, uh, you know, follow the instructions, you know, get the guide, get the service info, uh, but that's how you use this little guy.